Biology. Let's now look at excretion in plants. So, yeah, excretion in plants. So, plants, they are from kingdom plantae. And then from kingdom plantae, we have the different divisions. Division, Braophyta, Teridophyta, Spermatophyta. So, if we are talking about excretion in plants, therefore, we are talking about the organisms under kingdom plantae. And we are talking about also the organisms which fall under those divisions, which is division Braophyta, Teridophyta, and Spermatophyta. So for the plants, we see that plants do not have a complex excretory system. Why is it so? Why is it that plants do not have a complex excretory system? So uh, we see that plants don't have a complex excretory system based on the different reasons that you are going to give. So the first reason is that waste of the plants are always being recycled. So the plant waste is always being recycled. For example, if you look at the process of photosynthesis, so for the process of photosynthesis, in photolysis, if water, uh, like, okay, in photolysis, water is broken down to hydrogen atoms and oxygen gas or oxygen molecules. So what happens is that after the breakdown of water, hydrogen has a function. Hydrogen enters into the dark stage. Oxygen has a function. Oxygen is now the byproduct of this process. It's now like the waste product in photosynthesis in the light stage. So what happens to oxygen? So some oxygen, excess oxygen will be released into the atmosphere. So it will be removed from the plant and released into the atmosphere. That is excess oxygen. While the plant will again use some oxygen. So excess oxygen will be released while some oxygen will be retained by the plant for the process of uh, respiration. Because in the previous topic, remember we saw that in respiration there must be oxygen, there must be glucose. So excess oxygen will be released into the atmosphere, uh, while some oxygen will be preserved by the plant for the process of respiration. So you see, in this, uh, in this process, oxygen as a waste product has, has been recycled. It has been brought back and used for another process, another different process. So also apart from that, we see that we have carbon for oxide. So the plant also uses carbon for oxide for photosynthesis. So in dark stage, you see that plants use carbon dioxide, whereby the carbon dioxide uh, from the dark stage, or rather the carbon dioxide which is breathed out by the plant, it is recycled and then reacted with hydrogen from the light stage to form a simple sugar, to form starch, to form energy. So you see that carbon dioxide is also recycled in the dark stage to form uh, energy or to form glucose by the plant. So here, uh, we have seen two things. Oxygen is being recycled for respiration. Carbon dioxide, which is uh, the exhaled gas by the plant, is being recycled, reacted with hydrogen from the light stage and used by the plant uh, to make simple sugar or to make glucose for the process of dark stage in photosynthesis, among others. So apart from that, uh, the next reason why plants don't have a complex excretory system, we see that some waste products are converted to less toxic substances by the plant. So, uh, like as far as they are being converted to less toxic substances, we see that they are also being stored in a less harmful substance that is in leaf, others in stems, and others in seeds, in fruits that we eat. So, in that point, we see, uh, we see that some waste products are converted into less toxic substances by the plant. And then after being converted to less toxic substances by the plant, they are, they are again stored in the different organs of the plant that is in the leaves, in the stems, in the fruits, in the seeds, etc. So apart from that, the other reason why plants don't have a complex excretory system is that uh, the waste products in some plants are stored for a short time and then shed off. So the waste products are stored for some time in the plant and then they are shed off. Like for example, in the leaves uh, or rather in the barks of the different trees that we have, for example, we have the the jacaranda tree. So, for example, for the jacaranda tree, which also sheds off its its leaves during uh, during summer. So, it's also a very good example of the way by which some plants excrete their waste products. So, apart from the jacaranda tree, we see that we have most most of the deciduous trees which shed off their leaves during summer, and then they. Uh, they regain back their, their leaves when the environmental conditions are mainly favorable. So apart from this, we see that 
these plants mainly excrete calcium pectate. They also excrete the different oxalates that may have been produced by the plant. They also excrete different resins and tannins. So, like among others, some of the waste products that can be released by plant in such manner are the ones that you have listed. Example, oxalates, resins, tannins, calcium pectates, etc., etc. So to the fourth point, so we see that the reason why plants don't have a complex excretory system is that some of the plants lose their waste products rapidly through diffusion. So as soon as waste products have been formed by the plant, they are released rapidly to the environment through the process of diffusion, example from the leaves, from the stems, from the roots, etc., etc. So that is how rapidly some of the waste products are removed by the plant. So as soon as they have been produced, they are released immediately to the environment. So that's another reason why plants don't really require a complex excretory system like for the animals. So apart from that, we see that also the other reason why plants do not have a complex excretory system is that <coughs> waste products in plants, they are released very slowly. So the waste products in plants, they are released... Uh, the rate at which the waste products are released by the plant is not rapid. So they are released very slowly by the plant. So that is also another reason as to why plants do not have a complex excretory system. So apart from that, uh, let's look at the other subtopic, plants excretory products. So the different products which are being excreted by the plant. So that gets us to plant excretory products. So some of these excretory products mainly include, first of all, we have caffeine. So this caffeine is mainly obtained from coffee, uh, coffee plant, tea plant, and uh, the guarana plant. It's also another example of a plant whereby we can be able to obtain caffeine. So coffee, tea, the guarana plant, so those are the plants which give us caffeine. So after that, we have papain. So the next one is papain. So this papain is mainly obtained from the popo plant. So the normal popo plant. And also there are some traces of papain in the popo fruit. So if you eat popo fruit, there are some also traces of papain in the popo fruit. So apart from that, we have tannin, uh, which is mainly obtained from the oak trees. That is for the tannin. And then after that, we have rubber, which is obtained from the rubber plant. So exactly that rubber that uh, we use here, uh, rubber for motor vehicles, rubber for rubbing, rubber for the rubber band. So that rubber is just a refined rubber. So it's rubber which has been refined in the factories to make it fine. So for the rubbers for the motor vehicles, that rubber is added to carbon, that rubber is added to sulfur in order to make it very hard. But this rubber, it is only obtained from one plant, which is the rubber tree. So it gives very good rubber. So apart from that, we have the next one, which is quinine. So quinine is mainly obtained from the cinchona tree. The cinchona tree gives us quinine. What's the main function of quinine? So quinine is mainly used to treat malaria disease. So if one has taken malaria uh, medication, and then after taking malaria medication, so those tablets, uh, they have not really tried to reduce or eliminate the malaria disorder. So if this person is taken to the hospital, so in the hospital they are going to be injected with quinine. So quinine is always the last resort for malaria. Malaria has never developed resistance against quinine and that's why quinine is always the last resort for malaria. If someone is almost dying from malaria, if they are taken to the hospital, they'll be injected with quinine and then after some few hours, after maybe a day or two, they are going to be again very healthy because quinine is a very strong malaria medication. So in some alcoholic drinks, they, they also include quinine in their ingredients, which is always not advisable to take such drinks. Because if you take such drinks, it's synonymous to you are abusing quinine, which is a malaria medication. So if you abuse quinine, the next time that you'll need quinine, maybe you'll be suffering from malaria and you'll need quinine. So even if you are injected what dose of quinine, it will be very hard for that quinine to eliminate the malaria in the body. Because since you have been abusing quinine, that quinine will be in the system. And since the quinine will be in the system, it will mean that if the malaria is attacking you, that malaria has overcome the quinine in your body. Therefore, it will, it will bring very big problems in trying to eliminate the problem using quinine because you are already used to quinine in the body 
at the virus for malaria has already developed resistance of quinine in the body. Therefore, it might be fatal. So if you go to take alcoholic drinks and then you see that the ingredient, one of the ingredients is quinine, it's best to leave that drink alone. Because we are going to look at the liver and we are going to see the negative effects of alcohol. So alcohol altogether is not good, it's not right, because it brings more problem than good. So after that, let's look at the next, uh, the next uh, excretory product by the plant, we have cocaine. So cocaine is mainly obtained from the coca plant. So cocaine is a very strong stimulant, antidepressant. So cocaine is mainly obtained from the coca plant. After that, we have cannabis or we have bang. The normal term out here uh, is referred to as bang. So bang is mainly obtained from the female cannabis plant. That is where bang is obtained, from the female cannabis plant. So apart from the bang, we have nicotine. Nicotine is uh, mainly obtained from, from the tobacco plant. So tobacco plant is what gives us nicotine, which also acts as a mild stimulant. So apart from that, we have cut. Uh, the normal word or the normal name for cut out here, people call it mira. So we have mira. So mira is mainly obtained from Cata edulis plant. So the Cata edulis plant, the scientific name Cata edulis, that is the plant whereby mira can be obtained. And for this mira, we see that it has some negative effects on people and it also has some positive effects. So let's begin with the positive effects. So the positive effect is act, it acts as a mild stimulant. So it stimulates the body, that's mira. So apart from that, we see that also mira, if you want to stay awake, most of the time, if you take mira, it will, it will bring sleeplessness. So you are going to stay up for some time. So apart from the positives, let's look at the negatives. So the negative of mira, we see that it may cause miscarriage in pregnant, uh, pregnant ladies. So it may cause miscarriage. After that, it may cause also male impotence. So male impotence, we are going to study it in form 3 in the topic of reproduction. So male impotence simply means that when the male will be active and trying to engage in intimate activities, so the penis of the male will not be able to erect. So if the penis is not able to erect, therefore it cannot be able to dispose or to deposit uh, sperms in the vagina during intercourse. So Mira mainly causes male impotence, which may lead to a condition which is referred to as erectile dysfunction. So apart from that, we see that also Mira causes sleeplessness, which is uh, called insomnia. Mira may also, called, uh, may also cause insomnia. So insomnia can be very bad in some instances, whereby the person who constantly abuses Mira will have sleeplessness. So this sleeplessness may range from different hours to different days, which might be fatal. So the human body at least must be able to sleep eight hours a day, be it that you are tired or not tired. So the human body must be able to sleep for at least eight hours per day. So if this person constantly have uh, periods of being insomnia, so this is going to slowly by slowly damage the brain, slowly by slowly damage the different organs in the body, which might also lead to fatality of the victim. Therefore, uh, those are the negatives and the positive effects of Mira. So apart from that, we also have colchicine, which is mainly obtained from the colchicum plant. So that is colchicine, mainly obtained from uh, the colchicum plant. After that, we have opium, whereby opium is a very hard narcotic drug, which is banned in many different countries because it leads to undesirable effects in the body. So the opium is obtained from the opium poppy plant. That is the plant whereby opium can be obtained. So apart from that, we also have morphine. So this morphine is mainly used as, uh, by the way, morphine is an illegal drug. It is not permitted to be sold in chemists. It is not permitted to be, to be used uh, without the doctor's prescription. Morphine is only used in hospitals, in approved hospitals only. That is where morphine is used. So this morphine is basically used in operations. So if the doctor wants to carry out operations to a patient, so first of all, they inject them with morphine in order to remove or reduce the pain. That's the function of morphine. So morphine is mainly used to reduce or to remove the pain. It is a very strong anesthetic drug. 
So morphine is used by the hospitals during operations in order to reduce pain or remove pain in terms in times of operation. If you have been found outside here using morphine or in possession of morphine, you will be arrested. It is an illegal drug and should not be used without the doctor's prescription. The function of morphine is to remove pain during uh, operation activities. So morphine is also obtained from opium poppy plant. So apart from that, lastly, we have heroin, among others. There are very many. So we have heroin, which is also obtained from opium poppy plant. And for this heroin, we see that it is also a narcotic drug, which is a very, or it is highly illegal. That is heroin. It is highly illegal. It is obtained from opium poppy plant also. So apart from that, uh, as you can look at this table, so this table basically summarizes the, the different excretory products uh, by the plants, their sources where they come from, their effects, the different effects uh, of the different, of the different um, excretory products, etc. So this table will be in the link description, so make sure to see this table. So it summarizes everything that you have just gone through, so everything from the first one to the last one and also their sources and also their effects after apart from the effects their uses etc etc biology